Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Welcome to Shawnee's Prayer Podcast, Season 3, Episode 1. Thank you to everyone who listens and who shares and comments and downloads and subscribes to allow me to get to Season 3 of Shawnee's Prayer Podcast. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I can't thank you enough. And you can find Shawnee's Prayer Podcast on various platforms, including YouTube. It's under Inspirations by God Ministry. Inspirations with an S by God Ministry. Um, you can find it under that um, that heading on YouTube. Thank you so very much. And as always, I start my prayer off with a blood scripture coming from Romans chapter 5, verse 9. Much more than being now justified by his blood, we shall be saved from wrath through him. Let's go to the throne of grace. Father God, I just want to say thank you. Lord God, I just want to come to magnify your holy name. Lord God, I just want to come to exalt you. Lord God, I just want to come to extol you, Father God. In the name of Jesus, I want to come just to worship you in the beauty of holiness, O God. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father God, I just want to say thank you because you are good, you are mighty, you are gracious, O God. You are better to us than we are to ourselves. You are better to us than we are to you, Lord God. You are faithful even when we're not faithful, O God. In the name of Jesus, O God. And I thank you for being faithful, Father God. God. I thank you for being faithful, Father God, even when we're down in the valley. I thank you for being faithful when we're down in the dirt, down in the quicksand, Father God. Thank you for being faithful when we're, when we wander around, Father God, hopeless, Father God, in the wilderness, Father God. Thank you for being faithful when we're wandering around in the maze and don't know how to get out, Father God. Thank you for being faithful when we feel like we're drowning in the deep end of the pool or we're drowning in the ocean. We don't see no sight of a shore, Father God. Father God, thank you for being faithful when we feel like our problems are just take it, taking us down, Father God. It's like they're suffocating us. We're being suffocated by not having enough money to pay our bills. We're being suffocated by the pain that's in our bodies. We're being suffocated by our children who have not repented of their sin and given their lives over to you. We are being suffocated because we look at the state of this world, Father God, and we see so many people, Father God, who are hopeless, Father God, that don't have any hope, Father God. So many people, Father God, who are going through mental anguish, Father God, emotional distress, Father God. Lord God, in the name of Jesus, Father God, we see so many people, Father God, that are going through financial issues, Father God, in the name of Jesus. So many people are going through health issues, Father God, and they need you to heal them. They need you to deliver them. They need you to make a way for them, Father God. And sometimes, Father God, it feels like we are all prayed out, Father God, in the name of Jesus, oh God. Sometimes it feels like we have held on and held on. It feels like we're slipping, oh God. But even when we're slipping, you're still faithful, Father God. Even when we're slipping, you're still holding on tight to us, oh God. And for that, I just want to say thank Thank you, Lord God. Thank you for your faithfulness, Father God. When we're not faithful at praying, Father God. When we're not faithful at reading our word as diligent and as consistently as we should be, Father God. Father God, thank you for being faithful to us when we're not worshiping you and being in your presence like we're supposed to, Father God, so that we can be truly connected to you, Father God. Father God, thank you for being faithful to us when we're not um, praising you, Father God, like we're supposed to, Father God. Sometimes we are only praise you when things are going good, when you answer the prayers, when you send the blessings, when you perform the miracles, when you heal our bodies, Father God, when you when you open the doors, Father God, when you allow the phone to ring and there's someone saying they want to hire us for a job, then we praise you, but we can't praise you, Father God, when we're going through the storm. We don't praise you, Father God, when we're going through the trials 
trials and the tests and the tribulation, Father God. We, we start, Father God, backsliding, Father God. We don't realize we're in a ver- on a verge of backsliding, Father God. But Lord God, even in that, you're still faithful because you said you are married to the backslider, Father God. But Lord God, even though you're married to us, we're not always married to you, Lord God. So Lord God, I pray in the name of Jesus, as you're so faithful to us, help us to be faithful to you, Father God, in the name of Jesus, Father God. Help us to know, Father God, that we need to be consistent, Father God, for our own spiritual growth, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Help us to know that we need to be faithful, Father God, so we can go higher in you, Father God, and deeper in you, Father God. Help us to know that we need to be faithful so we can get into your word, Father God, and so that you can open up our understanding to your word, Father God. Father God, there's no commentary better than the Holy Spirit, Father God. The Holy Spirit can tell us about your word like unlike anyone else, oh God. So Father God, I pray as we go to get into your word, Father God, as we go to study your word, help us to become consistent. Help us to become faithful at it, Father God. And I pray that you will open up our ears, open up our hearing, open up our minds. Help us, Father God, to not to worry about things that we have been taught, Father God, but help us to be able to open up our ears so we can hear from you, Father God. It doesn't matter what anyone else has said on this earth. Only thing that matters, Father God, is what you say to us and what you tell us, Father God. So, Lord God, I pray that you will open up our understanding, Father God. Give us the right understanding, Father God, of your word, Father God. In the name of Jesus, help us not to take your word out of context, Father God. In the name of Jesus, oh God. Lord God, I just come and ask your Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, help us to be faithful, Father God, in our worship, Father God, to know that our worship helps us to get into the presence of the Lord, Father God. Father God, when we get into your presence, Father God, that's when we get to know you at a new dimension, Father God. In the name of Jesus, oh God, when we get into your presence, Lord God, that's when we get to understand who you are, Father God, in the name of Jesus, oh God. When we get into your presence, Father God, that's how we get truly connected to you, oh God, even the more, Father God. In the name of Jesus, oh God, when we are in your presence, Father God, and worship, Father God, it's, it's like we don't, we're don't we not thinking about all the things that are going on in our lives, Father God. We're not thinking about what we don't have and what we need and how our bodies are in pain, Father God. All we're thinking about is worshiping you, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, oh God. So help us to become faithful at that, Father God. In the name of Jesus, Father God. God, we all need to improve, Father God. There's no perfect person, Father God. There's no perfect Christian walking this earth, oh God. In the name of Jesus, oh God, help us not to judge other people and help us, Father God, in the name of Jesus, oh God, not to look at other people, Father God, and look at our lives, Father God, and think, oh, they're so much better than I am. They're in a higher place in God than I am. Because honestly, we really don't know that to be true, Father God. We're looking on our outward appearance, but God sees the heart. You see the heart of every man, oh God. So just because someone seems to be connected to the Holy Ghost, just because someone is quoting a scripture, or because someone is preaching or singing a gospel song, or because someone, Father God, is posting, Father God, spiritual things, Father God, does that mean they have that true connection? Connection to God, the Father, God, the Son, God, the Holy Spirit, the Triune Godhead, the Trinity, oh God. So, Father God, in the name of Jesus, Father God, help us not to compare ourselves to anyone else, Father God. Help us to walk the to run the race that you have given unto us to rate to run. And allow us to do it with diligence, allow us to do it with consistency, allow us to do it with faithfulness, oh God. In the name of Jesus, oh God. And Lord, I thank you for all that you have done. I just thank you that you will take each and every person who will hear this prayer, Father God. Lord God, I pray that you will take us higher, Father God. Even someone that may listen to this prayer, they don't know you in a pardon of their sin. I pray that you will meet them right at the point of their sin, Father God. I pray that you will 
forgive them of their sin, Father God, and accept them into your kingdom, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Lord God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, I pray in the name of Jesus, Father God, that you allow this prayer, Father God, to be stretched forth, Father God, and to be stretched wide, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Allow it to reach, Father God, all across the seas, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Allow it to go global, Father God, in the name of Jesus, oh God. Allow it to be impactful, Father God, that someone can see themselves in this prayer, Father God, and they can make a change, Father God, in the name of Jesus, oh God. And Lord God, that we all could become more faithful, more consistent, Father God, and help us, Father God, to keep our focus on you. Help us to shift our focus off of what we are going through, Father God, and keep our focus on the one who has the answer, the one that has the power to make a change in our lives. And Lord God, I thank you. Lord God, I praise you. Lord God, I honor you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I pray you. Amen and amen. God bless you. God bless you and God bless you. May heaven smile upon you is my prayer.